Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of right. the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our no-shot campaign where I'm trying to beat the game on Legendary Ironman difficulty with permanent dark events and the nice little side condition to not take a single shot nor use an explosive. I messed up uh, the intro so I'm just redoing it as we are in the mission. This is the guerrilla mission uh, that was um, uh, countering the... Um, uh, the lightning reflex event um, that I mentioned in the last mission. So we're in England trying to kill an advent field commander. There is a side trap going, a side trap uh, automatic defenses, which suggests a very high com uh, concentration of robotic enemies. So I am fully expecting that we're going to run into a lot of mechs and mech like creatures. Uh, we go in with two rangers, <coughs> two uh, templars, and two specialists. Kind of a new combination. I also put the serpent suit here on Zirkim, just to try if the additional mobility uh, kind of compensates for the loss of the mobility, the dodge, and essentially the uh, freeze ability here, frostbite. Um, essentially. Uh, Roger that. compensates the loss of an extra slot. We've already seen, apparently, there is the first pack. was a glimpse of it. it happening. It's far, but I can reach it. Let's do this. As with Farmer. any of uh, the Kill the General missions, okay. uh, none of the actual mission will start. Uh, before we're um, engaging with the first pack, so there's a real incentive to not immediately engage with these guys and try to bypass them in order to find the general. I would like to try to do that. And by trying that, I mean, well, let's move over here. All right, seems legit. They patrol blindly ahead. There's the general. Fantastic. Okay, cool. Move, move, move. Moving away. Let's just leave That's the patrol where it is. And instead, we're going to move over. Got it covered. Sorry for being a bit nasal today. I'm all over. Good. That fast switching of sides should throw off the AI because it usually tends to assume you're just going straight ahead. Position confirmed. But I figured if we don't have a timed mission, but a real incentive to essentially uh, bypass and try to get to the actual uh, to the actual. Uh, target, then that would be fantastic if we can pull it off. This is a dangerous move, but we have okay. plenty of options to react if it wouldn't play out uh, well, such as mimic beacons and shifting, um, shifting turns over. I would like to position ourselves right That's here. That's not bad in terms of hogbite. This here should it. be completely out of line of sight of anything and anyone. Fantastic. That worked like a charm. You know, how about we're just positioning ourselves like over here. Going to lose concealment soon so anyways. Decided. Might as well Yeah, go in pretty deep. Location confirmed. And 
sonar takes a Running. move to here. Great, if we play our cards right, we can Bladestorm um, approach these guys. Oh, we can play this very right. So, Ebert here has the sort of the sort of the uh, chosen so might as well eight uh, attack and then get two additional attacks on top of it yeah that's a great great opening fantastic hit and we should be able to hit even three more times all of these are going to be hits and the reason why I would start with uh, the katana is the katana deals as much damage as a fully upgraded, um, uh, as a fully upgraded Templar. And with upgraded, I mean uh, full force Templar. This might trigger another pack. Oh, wow, that was simple. We got Fortress, so Hogbite can do the good deed. Even if there would be an explosion, he is fine. And by the way, fantastic. All right, moving up. Not trying to pull anything, really. We had a fantastic starting round. There is really no reason to mess it up. Instead, hunker down and enjoy the ride. We're going to parry and we're going to hunker down. You know what? We're going to conceal and... Position confirmed. Going to do a little spireno. Cool. Okay, we know the codex is there. Fair enough. In cover. Now we don't need to move anywhere. Let's end the turn. Probably going to trigger. Not a surprise, to be honest. Not a surprise. Good, let's start with the obvious here. This could be a crit, and with a crit it would be a one-shot. If not, still a good hit. Down to one HP. Okay, fair enough. This is probably not going to kill, but severely injure. Yeah, it's not going to kill. Thank you for stunning. That is fantastic. We also pulled another pack. We know there are 13 enemies. So far we killed 3 plus 2 plus 2. So we're looking at 7. Yeah, let's just make sure that we can hit those guys here. Out of curiosity, yeah, we could vault it. I 
me just move here and see, could we hit more than one with Volt? No, it's not jumping. Would be great if it would jump, because then we could kill both of these guys. Can't, unfortunately, so let's just farm some more. Some more focus. were to move in can't really move afterwards but that's fine i don't mind we don't have him placeable yet but we got a mimic beacon so that's all good placing it right there nicely visible And whilst we're on it, let's just kill the one codex. So we're left with one pack. And so far, a pretty solid mission. Yep, there's another pack that we just triggered. Okay, now it's going to uh, become a bit more iffy. quite an amount of hit points that we need to chew through elite specter plus two max oh wow okay well great job psyken and pulling the entire map we wanted to see yet another fight where you completely and utterly disregard the safety of your uh, troop and just go in and pull everything. You're welcome, guys. That was the plan all along, of course. Good. Needless to say, if you are in such a situation, you got to plan ahead. So we got a Mimic Peak in here. We got a bit of Haywire Protocol, we got Teamwork, cool. Which means we want to deal the most damage possible. And one way of uh, doing that is... Actually starting to crowd control quite a bit. I'll take the high road. This here should not trigger any overwatch perfect good we got quite a few interesting targets to work with uh, let's start with frostbite uh, free crowd control that'll take care of uh, this nasty mech we're softening up the lead specter. Very good. And I would like to potentially even kill this guy up here. Not sure though if we can do that right away. I do have an idea. How much damage would I deal against the Spectre? It's not too bad, but it's probably not going to kill it. All right, so, hmm. Who could soften the Spectre up most effectively? I think Diva here has a fantastic ability with the Rashi Blade to do that, but we probably need it against uh, the Sector Bot. So, 
one thing um, at a time. Um, we need to try to crowd control the sector port first. A protocol over here. And we got we gotta determine who is throwing the mimic beacon. Um, the answer is quite simple. It needs to be Zukuger. Good, which means we gotta do the whole teamwork thing first. So unfortunately can't kill the Spectre. But we can get rid of the mech. It's important to get rid of as many enemies as possible. Hand over. And Zirkim finishes the sky. Fantastic. We're now ready to go and shut down the sector port. Come on, Sonar. That's an important one. 41. Didn't quite make the cut. That's indeed very unfortunate. Backup plan. We're going to use his Mimic Beacon. And instead, Zukuger our protocols. Another 50-50. Oh boy. This guy is turbocharged now. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Okay, cool. Shit happens. Let's try to deal with the rest here as uh, to the best of our abilities. Amplifying the Spectre. <laughs> Good. Also, um, make the codex duplicate. There we go, there's the clone. We can kill at least one of the clones. Alright, moving over here. Into safety. Many hit points four yeah we we can definitely deal enough damage that's a double kill good so far so good we dealt with most of them aside here it's just going to be a psionic bomb no one cares and we go to get one shadow bound that's also not a problem but we're going to take some hits here and the sector port is going to be the biggest offender that we have to deal with moving into a bit, little bit better spot Solid indestructible full cover helps us to be a good uh, distraction and let's hope that they are going to bite for the mimic beacon. Yeah, I was hoping the spectre would not uh, would not be the first one to shoot. They do have a pretty decent uh, weapon arsenal. That's a killed... Oh no, that's actually double move. Perfect. And that is a gone um, 
and mimic beacon fair enough probably going to get some shots a suppression and grenades is what i would expect to happen we're immune and this is now going to be suppression yeah figured Alright, fantastic. We got another Mimic Beacon. We only took one point of damage, so overall not too bad. We're unfortunately out of great crowd control options, which brings me to the idea of sort of ignoring the sector port for now and we need spectre yeah let's amplify this guy here going to be a solid hit suppression removed and we can parry or move somewhere else for I uh, know she does not have blade storm so might as well just parry that's fine could move to here Kill this guy. Down here we would take extra damage, so it's not a good idea. Move over here and try to hit this guy. Don't have a uh, blade storm, nor do we have any other way of automatically dealing damage. Gotta deal with a sector pod, that's for sure. And we got like one more mimic beacon. Okay, fair enough. Um, so you're going, uh, Zukuger is going to drop the mimic beacon. In terms of getting targets off the grid, um, let's actually kill this guy here. the stock on moving over here so we got blade storm available for this guy moving over here nice that could be a kill. Yeah, we're going into full cover on mode here. Oh, come on. Standing fast. We put our soldiers through a lot. No Are you kidding me? Well, when we get back. that's the downside. We took good cover, would have uh, instead just dealt some more damage. Nice little damage um, hit for all of them. And Hogbite uh, will kill by using uh, um, by using blade storm in terms of mimic beacon i wish we could place one 
that both uh, that all of them could see. You know, given that I really just want the sector port to be busy for now, we're placing it right there. Because the Codex has just destroyed itself. <laughs> that should have triggered Bladestorm. Alright, target top fight, please. Well, Lightning Field is fine as well. There's no one around it. Means Lightning Field is now on cooldown. Fantastic. That worked well. Alright, do we have cooldowns? We do not. So the whole thing will now boil down to us essentially uh, bum rushing the sky again. It really could be better than that. Alright, moving over. This hopefully kills the mech. Minimum damage, unfortunately. Can't fully hit this guy and retreat. That's a bummer. Amplifying the sector pot for immune against his explosion. Still a chance that we can stun him. So far, that chance really did not materialize, unfortunately. A lot of damage, but not enough. As you can take an A protocol, and then we're combat protocoling the sector port. Taking full advantage of that extra damage that we're dealing. You know, let's parry because I know that the explosion oh, is going to happen now. It's going to suck. But Diva doesn't know it yet. However, he will get untouchable. Wonderful. Untouchable triggers. So he should be immune. Nope, he's not. Bad. I hope it's worth it. Yeah, overall, still a good fight. I mean, with very limited damage, like four points of damage, we went through this. And that's pretty much it. Okay, we used all three Mimic Beacons, fair enough. But we also pulled like four packs. 
And this time we handled the sector port much, much better. That's good. Good shit. Time to give a kill or two to Zirkim. Or Divot. Okay, so I got one. And that should end the mission, shouldn't it? Yeah, with just a few um, injuries. We made it out alive. Good job. Fantastic. We landed. Minimum injuries. Three to five days. And Zukugar even got a promotion. Yeah. Unfortunately, the dead levels for the specialist in this run can't take any shots. So all of the Overwatch abilities that are fantastic by themselves will not help us. But still, more hit points and so on uh, that certainly helps and better hacking capabilities got another sector port and a couple of mechanical units good time to recover guys time to recover. Avenger plotting new course. I think that went smooth. So specifically the fight against the sector bot actually went very well. New earth to enlightenment will not come easily for you. The chosen aren't afraid to resort to sabotage tactics. Good. We got the sector port breakdown. That is fantastic. Gremlin Mark III really makes a huge difference for us. Further our advances, Commander. Central claims to have seen one of these things up close back in the day. Despite a lot of speculation, there was no pilot to be found once we pried it open. Hello, Commander. Good. Let's see if we can upgrade the Mark III three gremlins yes we can i would like to do that thank you they're they're actually quite good because as you have seen uh, with the right equipment um, sector pods and the right rank of course sector pods can relatively easily be hacked and that's really what we were after Uh, I think we're going for sustain because it is such a good ability. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off. Like and we got 10 more dodge on Roby. Yes, please. Good. We wanted probably another scientist and a promotion who could use a great promotion. I think Roby would definitely benefit from it. Uh, wait, 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 wait. This is just soldier wounded? Yeah, okay. That's not a problem. And any other soldier will do? Okay, fair enough. So, let them go for it for 12 days. Wait a second. Yeah, I can't put Hogbite on it. Because Hogbite him and him have a bond, and that would have sped it up. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. Very good. Another important step forward. Fantastic. We're research. making good progress now, guys. Hellweave vests aren't bad. Um, health plus 100% uh, chance for melee attacks to burn to the enemy, which in this particular run might be not too bad. Maybe I even would Reverse consider doing it. We have come to know as because we're taking quite a few like history, melee hits. Strategic resource located. 
Good. We don't need supplies. The rest is fine the so far. We are continuing to expand now. So after most of our resources are sort of filled, I would like to expand and take Australia. Mental Fortitude. That is a fantastic uh, bonus. We definitely would want to get that. Panic Obsession, Berserk, Shattered only lasts one round. Effectively makes you almost immune against crowd control. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. This is a problem. We gotta infiltrate him like right now. Um, and that is a problem because we don't want our resources to be reduced by 50% permanently. That needs to stop. Rural checkpoints is what we are going to counter. Unfortunately, not really what, uh, any anything else. Good. Let's take a good look, right? We could theoretically launch uh, the mission. What's preventing us from doing that? A little bit more training, seven days more shaken. Let's get Hogbite back and Roby, if possible. Hogbite is more important than Roby. Roby can continue being on that mission. I would probably go in with double Templar, double Specialist and Double Ranger. Nah, 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 nah. Stupid me. Uh, we're going in with double Psyops, double Templar, and double Specialist. Is that it? That would get rid of the axe, and the axe is important to deal some extra damage. Some extra damage. So, are we going to go down to one Specialist? Let's think that through real quick. That would half our healing potential. The specialists, however, in the end fight were a bit of a waste because once their cooldowns were, were off, all they could do is heal. So probably two Templars, uh, one Ranger, two Psy Operators, one Specialist. Sounds like a team that can pull it off. Let's continue with building a radio relay. And of course, let's continue with, hey, getting a free scientist, 95 Intel. And that looks incredibly easy, too easy to um, inspire confidence. This year, will I, it will not trigger the Warlock because the Warlock is invading us, so he can't be on this mission. So that means Berserker Queen is here. Elsewise, it wouldn't be nine enemies. That will be a difficult mission, although it doesn't look like that. Good. In terms of soldiers, we got... Uh, we're not going to take the Templar. Specialist Ranger, Specialist Rangers, and Ranger Ranger. So four Rangers, two Specialists for the next mission. The big downer is we still did not get the Null Lands on our second Psyop. That's really a bummer. So it will be a long fight again. Shite. I was hoping that that wouldn't happen. I was really hoping that that would not happen. Yeah, we don't need any of that. A third school jack, maybe, but we can also invest our supplies in more meaningful ways. Hyperventilation module, I think that that's not bad. Upgrading um, and sending one so, uh, soldiers in once when they're really, really needed. Yeah, we're, we're going to do that. That's a good upgrade. We had a lot of situations where it would have been really, really helpful. 
Pull under pressure is not needed. No upgrade. Training center does not get any upgrade. Pa we don't need more power. Yeah, that will give us an extra um, resistance order. Pretty late for an upgrade, but we also didn't have the best resistance orders. Yeah, it is what it is. So that's okay. I think we've upgraded most of the stuff that we need. Yeah, we're fine. Guys, this brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you as uh, always for sticking with me. I really enjoy the campaign so far. I hope you do as well. If you liked it, leave a comment and a like below. That helps the video and the channel to grow. And uh, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.